Yo guys, it's Lara. You already know that today I'm bringing you guys my team analysis for week 6 of TBU. This week we are taking on a good old buddy old pal of ours, Alex, also known as Onesie Bennett, and his AS Monferno. Now if you guys have been uh, following the channel for a little while, you know that we've been in the Pokemon Primary League for 3 seasons, and Alex has also been in the PPL for 3 seasons. We have faced him 3 times, and we have beaten him 3 times. So... Uh, we can't be showing up here. We gotta keep the streak going. We can't let him win. So, that is what we are here to do this week. We're here to battle him. We're here to win. We are in second place in the in our division, which is really good. However, one loss could put us not necessarily as safely in playoff contention. So, um, wins are very, very important. So, this was a really tough week to team build. But I did my best, and I'm here to show you the team that I have that I'm going to try and take down Alex with, but Alex is such a scary, scary team, and he's a very good battler, despite the fact that he's been struggling this season. Um, definitely, definitely am not underestimating him, because I know that there's a very solid chance that uh, he could definitely beat me this time. But we're going to hope, hope, hope that we can avoid that, and I'm going to show you how. So... Let's go ahead uh, and go over the team that Alex has. He has a Mega Latias, Garchomp, Registeel, Staraptor, Sneasel, Wobbuffet, Meloetta, Lantern, and Sylveon. Uh, on the bench, he has Nidoking, Blaziken, and Tyrantrum. That is a ridiculous draft. Thankfully, no bench switches, um, so we don't have to deal with the Nidoking. That's probably the one thing I was really scared about. But um, to be fair, I do have answers, so I don't know. It's just I, I don't like planning for Nidoking. Um, yeah, six that I'm expecting him to bring. Um, obviously, I expect Psychic types to come because Mega Venusaur is a thing that people plan for. So Mega Latias, Meloetta, definitely expecting. Um, Garchomp is also a really big threat to me, um, so I do expect that to come. Registeel kind of walls everything that I have, and we will get into why Registeel is such a huge problem to me um, as we go through the team. So I'm definitely expecting Registeel. Staraptor switchings just don't really exist. Um, most of the time, so I do expect that to come, uh, and then the last one, it could really be anything, he could bring Wobbuffet if he wants, um, the only thing I'm really not expecting would be Sneasel, but I could be wrong about that too, but I'm not expecting that, so, I have Sylveon, because Sylveon is also a scary threat, and I know Alex likes his Sylveon, so, that's what we got, let's go ahead and go over our team, we didn't make any bench switches either, um, so we still have a couple of them left, and uh, we'll see if we use them as the season goes on. But let's go ahead, dive right into the team. If I missed anything, comment section, you know, Alex's channel in the description, go there, all that good stuff. But our team, we have, um, first off, Hitsurante, uh, Leftovers, Intimidate, Physically Defensive, Flarebets, Willowis, Morning Sun, Crunch, you know, Defensive Arcanine. Um, the main reason this is here is for... Sneasel. Actually, this... Mm, no, I probably won't change it now. This also works as a semi... If it's like a Scarf Star Raptor, I can like take a hit. Um, if it's like Bandit, then I can't. Um, but Will-O-Wisp is the main thing. Honestly, the more I look at it, this could almost be specially defensive. But I think even without special defense investment, this can still take on a Sylveon and possibly a Meloetta. I'm going to have to calc that. Um, but I know I can definitely take on Sylveon. Um... And probably maybe like an like an assault vest Meloetta type deal, um, probably not like a Specs one or anything. Will o Wisp is really really important because I would really like to get things burned such as Garchomp and Registeel and Staraptor and Sneasel. Um, so that's why I am deciding to do physically defensive with this. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if that ends up being the right choice or not. Crunch is just the best coverage move because it hits at Mega Latias, which I am so terrified of. Um, and also it's Meloetta and Wobbuffet. So, there's that. Floribus is a good stab and is the only thing on my team that can 2 a KO Registeel. So, that's a thing. Um, and that is why Registeel is such a big threat, because I don't have anything that can actually do damage to it. It can literally wall me for days. But, regardless, that is Arcanine, and uh, yeah, took a break last week. It's gonna come back and hopefully put in some work. Next we got Windows 10, the Porygon 2, uh, Special Defensive, Eviolite Analytic, Recover, Toxic, 
Ice Beam, Defense Curl. So, um, let me double check. Yeah, this is this is this <laughs> this is the moveset that I want to go for. Um, Ice Beam uh, is good coverage for most of his team. I mean, Sneasel can take it, but I don't really want to stand against the Sneasel because knockoff. Um, Lantern, but I cannot stall Lantern with Toxic. Basically, this is just annoying Porygon too. Okay, especially defensive. I can switch into any of his special attackers, and if I get up defense curls, then I can deal with all of his physical attackers. Um, take it for what it is. This is if I have to stall out any of his mons or all of his mons, I will. I can with Porygon too. That is what this is here for. Um, if I need to just have a stally match, uh, then that's what it'll be. I'm gonna toxic as many things as I can. Hope that he doesn't have a cleric, or hopefully I can kill that cleric, and then start doing some Porygon 2 shenanigans. Um, but yeah, this is essentially my switch into a lot of his special attackers, uh, mainly Meg, uh, Lias, um, but if he starts setting up like Calm Minds and stuff like that, then he can kind of 1v1 me, potentially, especially if it's like sub Calm Mind, then we have an issue, because then I can't Toxic it. Um, so, and if he gets up one, is maybe two Calm Minds, and I don't know if I can break his sub anymore. So, that is, uh, that would be bad. So we're just gonna have to hope against hope that that doesn't happen. Um, I know he's been kind of struggling with using Megalodia, so hopefully he either decides not to bring it, or he just decides to not do well with it. Either one of those would work really well for us, so there's that. Um, next is going to be Puff Daddy, the Slower Puff, Citrus Berry on Burn. There we go, Belly Drum, Drain Punch, Play Off Return. This is enough speed, 188 Jolly is enough to outspeed. A Scarf Star Raptor. Um, I didn't really know what else to try and like deal with. So the only thing that could be faster than that would be a Scarf Garchomp, which I guess I could, or like a Scarf Sneasel, but I don't expect that. And I don't really expect a Scarf Garchomp either, so... Um, yeah, I don't know. I just went after Scarf Star Raptor because that, to me, just seems a little bit more likely. Um, so we'll have to see. Uh, this can basically take out everything. The Reggie Steel, I think Drain Punch still does like a little bit over half too. This is like after a Belly Drum. So, Reggie Steel is going to need to be worn down um, a lot before I can pull this off. Wobbuffet can also live a plus six return. So, Wobbuffet needs to have some sort of prior damage on it before I can do this. Slurpuff is just. Um, I don't think Slurpuff is going to full out sweep his team. But what I am hoping is that I can get up a belly drum at some point in the middle of the match to just break through some of his walls or some of his mons, knock out a couple of them before Slurpuff goes down, or just punch holes, you know, at some point. I don't think this is going to be a sweeper. It could be, potentially, depends on what he has. Um, or it could just put in big damage before he revenges it in some way. So, we'll have to see how that goes, but uh, we're going to see if we can get off some more Slurpuff shenanigans. Fun fact, in the two games that I have brought Slurpuff, I am 2-0 with a plus 11 differential. Coincidence? I think not. Even though Slurpuff uh, didn't even show up <laughs> onto the field last week, that's not the point. It's not the point. Slurpuff is a good luck charm. Next mod we have Monophy the Manaphy with Leftovers, Hydration, Subtail Glow, Skull, and Energy Ball. This week is going to be Max HP, Max Special Attack, Modest. Um, because, uh, well, I have leftovers because I have substitute and uh, max HP because bulk is good. Skull Energy Ball is basically enough to hit essentially his whole team. Mm, wait a minute, I didn't want Energy Ball. No, 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 this isn't supposed to be Energy Ball. That's why. This is supposed to be Signal Beam. My bad. Um, it was Energy Ball for the Lantern, but Signal Beam is a lot more helpful for the Mega Latias. The uh, Wobbuffet, the Sneasel, I guess, technically, and the Meloetta. So, um, so that's Signal Beam. Yes, uh, Lantern can kind of deal with this, but I have switch to Lantern, um, so I'm a little bit less worried about having a coverage move for that than I am about having coverage for, like, the other four mons. Um, Scald is just a nice stab, and, uh, means that I don't necessarily need to run Ice Beam for Garchomp because Scald does plenty. Um, does plenty to start after, things like that, so Scald is good enough. Um, and I can set up substitutes on basically Registeel is essentially it. 
possibly Wobbuffet. Uh, I don't know how I would deal with a Wobbuffet with this Manaphy. Um, it would be kind of interesting, but um, yeah. Uh, that's probably about it. So, setting a substitute is not necessarily a guaranteed thing, or getting up a tail glow is a guaranteed thing, but maybe we can get some Scald Burns, maybe we can just get up some damage, and we'll just have to play it by whatever happens in the battle. So, next mod is going to be Xenon X, X, Xenon X, I don't even know, Leftovers, uh, Physically Defensive, Stealth Rock, Earthquake, Bullet Punch, Ice Punch. Um, this is a Staraptor switch in. Choice Bandit Staraptor cannot 2 it KO a Physically Defensive Metagross. So that's fun. That is really, really fun to know that I actually have a star after switch in and one exists in the game. It's so great. It's so great. However, of course, I do not have recovery outside of leftovers. Um, so, I mean, eventually he could U-turn around enough and he could probably wear me down um, if I'm not careful. So I do need to, you know, be careful about that. Ugh, stealth Rocks. I really need them up. There's a star after. There's a Sneasel. There are a lot of mons that he has that don't have recovery. Um, that I would love to get even the smallest bit of chip damage on. So, Stealth Rocks are going to be so important. Earthquake is about the best thing that I can hit Ready Steel with. It does about 30%. Uh, physically Defensive might do slightly less, but... I don't know, man. Ready Steel is ridiculous. Um, Earthquake also hits Lantern. Bullet Punch hits Sneasel and is a decent priority move for if I need it. And Ice Punch hits basically everything else. Mega Latias, Garchomp, Staraptor. Uh, that's about it. So... And Bullet Punch is also good for Sylveon. So, uh, yeah, I was going to run a different type of Metagross, but then I realized that I kind of got swept by Staraptor, so I, I had to bring a physically defensive one. And that's just how it is. Um, next Mon, well, final Mon, is going to be a physically defensive Mega Venusaur with Leaf Seed, Synthesis, Hidden Power Ice, and Sludge Bomb. So, Leaf Seed for more residual damage, Synthesis to stay alive, Hidden Power Ice for the Garchomp, Sludge Bomb for the everything else. Um, Red Steel again is an issue because it can, it doesn't, I can't do damage to it. But I'm gonna just have to try and leaf seed it, hope that it's not rest, and go from there. So, yeah. Venusaur, I, again, I only, I had to bring physically defensive Venusaur because if I didn't, then I got swept by Garchomp. So, um, I have a lot of physical defense, uh, because I have to have very specific mons. For very specific like situations, so like the special defensive or uh, the special offense on Alex's team can kind of be played around with between Porygon 2 and other mons, but the physical offense on his team have to be countered by specific mons. Like nothing else wants to switch into Garchomp outside of Venusaur. Porygon 2 probably can a little bit, but it's not really meant to. Same with Manaphy, but you know Star Raptor. It's just like I have nothing else to switch in. It has to be Metagross. Um, Sneasel, you know, kind of could be Manaphy, also could really be Arcanine. So it's just the physical offense is just, it's it's really, really a pain to deal with, but that's what it is. So obviously this is a very, very stally defensive team. I can and I will stall out Alex if I have to to win this match. Um, I'm not above doing that. Um, I will not, there's, you know, there's a difference, there's, like, timer stalling is bad, don't do it, it's bad, 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 you're a bad person if you do that, um, also I would not do something like that to anybody, um, but regular stalling, where I just don't let him kill me, and I kind of wear down his mon slowly, I'm totally cool with that, I want to try and get lead seeds off, I want to try and get rocks up, I want to try and get will o -Wisps off, or toxics off, any residual damage and then I just kind of stay alive, recover my stuff while he, you know, is slowly whittled down by this trip damage and we just outlive him, you know? That's kind of the plan, so we're gonna hope that we can do that. Um, so I mean, I don't know how to get any more stally. I have three leftovers mons and the ones that aren't leftovers are a Mega Venusaur and a Portagon too. So <laughs> that's, that's just what I've resorted to this week, so. Hopefully it works out, maybe it won't, we'll find out. You guys will be able to find out tomorrow when we take them on. I'm really excited for this battle, hope you guys are too. I will see you then, so thanks for watching, and until the next time guys, stay sly.